Tomorrow from 10 to 5, you can head to RIV, RIT excuse me, for a really neat festival. It's called the Imagine RIT Festival. Doug Emblidge joins us with a preview now. This is a very big deal. Imagine RIT tomorrow might have 25,000 people on campus. You are welcome to come. It's free parking on campus and shuttle service from MCC from 10 to 5 tomorrow. We've got some of the Imagineers here with us today, including we've got Laura Filkins over here and, uh, and Kate Higgins and Professor Paul Rosenberg over here. They're all chemistry people. Good morning. And uh, we're doing some, we're having fun with chemistry this morning. What are you doing? Um, we're making ice cream using liquid nitrogen, or liquid nitrogen. Which is what we do at home all the time. Now, of you're just, uh, yeah, there you this go. This is what it starts out as. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, just cream and milks. Woo, here we go. Okay. There's the <laughs> liquid nitrogen going in. Look at this. Looks like something out of Mr. Wizard. How about that? Can you stir it up? How long does it take? Two or three minutes. Cool. Looking forward to having this on display tomorrow, are you, Professor? Oh, we certainly are, yes. Yeah. Uh, we're actually making ice cream, and we're calling it this year, making ice cream with a boiling liquid, because what we use liquid nitrogen. It's very, very cold, and it's boiling at room temperature, and it freezes the ice cream very, very quickly, and you get a really high-quality ice cream from this. Plus, it's really cool to watch. You, you better believe it. It's a lot of fun, a lot of eye candy there. All right, we're going to check back on the ice cream process in just a second. I want to meet these guys who are making... What, you, what the heck is going on? This is the Etch-A-Sketch photo booth, and this is Brian, and this is Dave. Brian, tell me what's going on. Um, well, we're taking pictures from the camera on the computer. The web, the computer The cam. web camera. Let's move and around so Terry can come around and see the image you're making there. Okay, there we go. Yes, and then what happens? And then we're converting it into a picture like this. Like an Etch-a-Sketch picture. Um, which is then drawn on the actual Etch-a-Sketch. So the computer is communicating the photographic image to the Etch-a-Sketch, and the Etch-a-Sketch is going to make a, a, an image based on what the computer does. Correct. Oh, my gosh. And so tomorrow when folks come in, I know you're still working out some bugs, Yeah. but tomorrow when folks come in, they'll be able to have their picture taken and then see an image of themselves? Yeah, that's the whole idea. Yeah. Yeah. And you said there were like some hundred different principles at work here that you were dealing with? There's, yes, um, the Etch-a-Sketch is a very intricate pulley system, yeah. and with that comes a lot of um, uncertainties. Um, most people who would attempt this project would make it closed loop by adding a camera and trying to track the cursor, yeah. but um, Brian, you're already over my head. I, but I'm just doing it with trying to calculate it. You're doing a great job. I know you've been up all night working on it. Thank you, guys. Good luck tomorrow at Imagine RIT. Now back to the ice cream. And here is the finished product. What flavor would this be? This one's vanilla. Vanilla? We'll have chocolate tomorrow, too. All right, here we go. Oh, chocolate and vanilla tomorrow. Yep. Again, made with liquid nitrogen as the freezing component, right? Yep. Mm. It's pretty good. Mmm. Imagine, if you will, how delicious this vanilla ice cream is. Imagine RIT tomorrow from 10 to 5 here on campus, and uh, you can try the ice cream, you can try the Etch a Sketch booth, and coming up in just a moment, we're going to use a bicycle powered blender to make smoothies on CW16.